Hey guys, if you are a Fujifilm shooter and you are having the hardest time trying to figure out which lens you should buy to either start vlogging your personal life or if you want to start documenting you know, your business or line of work, well, my name is Jared and I have been vlogging and shooting on Fujifilms for about a year and a half now and I just wanted to take a minute and share with you my top three lenses that I think you should consider when looking for a vlogging lens. Hey guys, thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. I'm out here today playing some foot golf with some friends of mine. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to just share with you all uh, what lenses I think you should strongly consider for vlogging if you're a Fuji shooter. Now I remember it wasn't that long ago when I knew I wanted to start vlogging not for personal reasons but to start documenting and marketing my business and I wanted to record videos every day showcasing what we do as a video agency and I was really having trouble figuring out which lens to use for Fujifilm because that's the primary camera system that we use. I've tried out I don't know eight different lenses and I just wanted to share with you the ones that I think are the best and the ones that you should strongly consider. I'm going to give you the pros and cons of each and hopefully by the end of the video you're one step closer to knowing which lens you should be using. The first lens that I think you should consider vlogging with is the Fuji 10-24 and I'm going to switch to that now. Whew, it's a hot one out here today, folks. So right now you're looking at the Fuji 10 to 24 millimeter. I am actually at, yep, I'm at the 10 millimeter focal length. And some of the pros about this lens, it does have optical image stabilization. It's a great wide lens. It's basically the equivalent of the 15 to 35, which is a very popular lens that you see Sony and Canon users, especially if they're vloggers. That's the focal length guys like Peter McKinnon are using. And that's the closest thing you're going to get to here on a Fujifilm system. Now some of the main pros are this is a nice wide lens you're gonna get a lot in the shot. The size and the weight of this zoom lens compared to some of the other Fuji lenses is much much lighter and it's much smaller so that is a huge advantage if you're somebody who's gonna be holding up a camera vlogging all day. Next is the price. Uh, compared to some of the other Fuji zoom lenses this is probably one of the most affordable. You can find it new for about $999 not on sale or you you can find it used anywhere from $560 to $750 on eBay. It's a hill. Get in there. Get in. Yeah. Yes. We're taking a break in the shade real quick. So while I love this lens and I definitely think it's one that you should consider, I have two main cons and the first one I'll go over real quick and that is it only goes to F4. Now why is that an issue? It comes down to personal preference and also the usability of the lens. With it only being F4, you're not going to get as blurry of a background as you would with some of the other like 2.8 or 2.0 Fuji lenses. And while the blurry background shouldn't be your main focus, I mean, we've all been there, it's, it's kind of fun to have. Now with functionality, the other downside is if you find yourself vlogging mostly indoors or in low light conditions, maybe in the afternoon, uh, cause that's when the, your time allows, you're gonna have to crank your ISO more than you would probably like, which can easily introduce noise on uh, these smaller crop sensor mirrorless cameras. So while I do think this is a great lens to vlog with, knowing that it's f4 shouldn't be a complete game changer, but it definitely is something for you to take into consideration. It is hot out here, folks. And the last issue are the warpy corners when shooting a wide angle, especially like this. So right now I'm not using digital stabilization. I'm just using the in-body image stabilization of the X-T4 and the OIS of the lens. It's hard for me to tell sometimes while I'm vlogging, but as I'm just, I'm not walking soft or ninja walking, I'm walking normal. You may see some of the corners here getting real warpy because of how wide it is. So that's the last con. All right, that's it for this lens. If you have any questions about this one, comment down below. Let's go on to lens. A number two. The next lens that I think you should strongly consider for vlogging is 
the 16 to 55 f 2.8 and we're switching to that lens now before i take my next kick which is going to be hard because i got to go under this branch what i love about the 16 to 55 is its overall versatility it's just a great lens the image is sharp it's great for photo and video it has a tremendous zoom range so if you're somebody who's logging for you know your family or or even work it's it's going to get you tighter shots but some of the downsides is it's not as wide as some of the other lenses you can see right now i'm i'm kind of tight in this shot which if you like that that's not going to be a problem at all but i think what you're sacrificing for not having as wide of a lens really makes up for it in its overall versatility This lens is one of Fuji's pro line of zoom lenses. So it does come at a bit of a cost, but one of the pros is it is an F 2.8. So you're gonna get a much more blurry of a background. It's also probably my number one lens that I go to when I'm shooting video. For me, the last big pro of this lens, I've told you how versatile it is, but it's great for photography as well. So if you are a hybrid shooter or you're shooting photo and video like I do, this is just a great lens to always have in your bag, regardless of whether or not you're a vlogger. I wanted to give you two quick cons, and number one is the price of this lens. It's not really cheap, it's about $1,200, but considering what you get, it's not that bad. You can't buy this lens used though from like $650 to $750, which is an absolute steal for just the quality of lens that you're getting that's gonna do, like I said, amazing photo and video. And the last kind of it is, it is heavy. Because it's not as wide of a lens, I really have to extend my arm out, which alone makes vlogging harder, but the size and weight of this lens, especially compared to the 10 to 24, it's just so dang heavy. So I find myself having to take breaks quite often. But that is the second lens I think you should consider, the Fujifilm 16 to 55 f 2.8. Let's go to lens number three. The last lens and really probably my go-to lens for vlogging is the little Fuji 14 millimeter f 2.8 prime and we'll switch to that right now why I love this lens and why it's become really my go-to lens when I'm doing most of my vlogging and number one pro is the size and weight thing is tiny so it makes holding the camera so much easier uh, it's a perfect kind of focal length 14 millimeters I feel like it's just tight enough so you can really uh, understand what I'm saying I can come in close or I can kind of stay wide so you can really see where I'm at it is an f 2.8 lens which I think is a huge positive you're gonna get some of that blurry background that you wouldn't on like the 10 to 24 millimeter uh, another pro is the price while it is new for about $899 you can pick up this lens used for as little as I just saw one sell for $350. So depending on you know the quality of the used lens, you can pick it up for like anywhere from $350 to $650, which I think is a huge steal, and you should really consider it. Uh, right with the tree, right in the way. Jumping to the cons of this lens, guys, it is prime, so there is no zoom. So if you find yourself wanting to turn your camera around a lot and zoom in on things like your kids or whatever's going on at the job site, you know, you're gonna have that difficulty with this lens. Lastly, it's an older Fuji lens. So the autofocus motors, while they're very good, I'm on eye autofocus right now and it is just locked onto my eye. While it's noisy, the good thing is I typically don't notice my microphone up top picking up the focus, but right now I could definitely hear it. So let's be quiet. I'll come back and forth and let's see if the microphone could pick it up. I hear it, I don't know if you can. But overall, I love this lens. I'm so glad that I bought it. I can vlog with this most of the time and it saves my arm and my shoulder so much. So that is why I really love this lens. I love the depth of field, the wide focal length, and the size and weight. You can't go wrong with it. It's great for just walking around and vlogging about what you're doing. So that is why this is my go-to lens. And if I had to pick between a second option for the other two lenses that I brought up in this video, it, for me, it would definitely be the Fuji 16 to 55, just because of the wide range of versatility. It's gonna be great for photo. It's gonna be great for video. You're gonna have a great zoom range. So I think if you were to have these two lenses in your bag, you couldn't go wrong. However, I've shot and vlogged with all three of them and gotten great results. 
else. Because when you're vlogging, it's not so much about the quality, it's about the story that you're trying to tell to the people watching your video. That's it for today. With all the videos that you guys could be watching on the internet, the fact that you took time out of your day to watch this one, man, I just greatly appreciate it. And I hope you got something out of the video today. Whether you're a new Fuji shooter, new vlogger, somebody who's been doing this a long time, I hope you at least got some value out of seeing, you know, the comparison between the three lenses. Now, if you haven't already, please click the button down below to subscribe. Go ahead, check me out on social media. We're always putting all kinds of behind the scenes stuff as far as photo and video, my business, and personal life and branding goes. So check me out there. We'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to put them in the comments down below and we'll see you guys later. Peace.